so guys uh, i'm back with another video uh, this will be a review of facebook's i will be creating an account right over there and uh, i will also be create uh, going through the dashboard actually how uh, this website is organized uh, what types of feature are there in their dashboard so i will be exploring from a to z uh, in this video um i okay now uh, now let's go ahead and let's go ahead and let's explore the website first and then go ahead to the dashboard right over there so this is the home page of fresh books and as you can see fresh books is uh, it's showing accounting software for business owners they, uh, they will have giving you give will be giving you 50 percent off for three months or even if you want to get a free free accounts you can go ahead for a free trial right over there you can see in the top there is an option to try it for free uh, so that you can explore the app explore the software what types of feature are there composed with so you can just click on start your free trial uh, but the best thing is you do not need to have any credit card for the free trial you know you do not need to submit any credential of any financial information to get the free trial accounts so anyway, let's go ahead and click uh, try it for free. So once you will click on free, uh, try it for free, you can actually sign up with your Apple ID. You can sign up with your Google ID or even you can uh, just put an email or and put in password right over there. And as you can see, there is showing no credit card required cancel anytime. So you can go ahead, start free trial. You can cancel anytime you like. So you can just put your email password and then get started to just go to the dashboard right over there. Maybe you might need to get, click on the email confirmation, but if you go through the uh, sign up with Google or sign up with Apple ID, then it will not be required any email verification. Link. So I have already created an account over there. I'm just, I'm going to uh, log into the dashboard. So um, this, uh, give me a second. so this is the dashboard of that uh, application that is Facebook. So after login. At that first login, you will get this option. So uh, set company details. I have already set the company details after creating the accounts uh, that I've just shown earlier. And then uh, there is it's just a, a checklist that you can go ahead and you can fill up that. So uh, it's a company details. And then you add your clients so that you can uh, uh, create invoices and everything. So add item and services. You can add your services and then finally send an invoice so that your client get uh, the invoice. Uh, by adding your clients, you are going to send them any information like invoice. But for sending invoice, you must have your service or you must have your items right over there. So once you fill up that, uh, then you can go ahead and start sending an invoice to the clients. Actually, sometimes uh, you, if you want to uh, get a payment from your clients uh, by saying it through a message or through email or by sending a um by making a call it actually becomes a very word because the client it's, it does not sound good uh, for asking their payments so that's why the facebook will handle it that right over here you can just set it up and then it will send the email right to the clients that yeah you have a payment due date is a uh, date is uh, blah 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 and then the information is this so it will send something like that. If, if we look, look at the left side, uh, left side may know that it's showing the dashboard, clients, invoices, payments, expenses, estimates, time tracking, projects, and my team. And then report accounting and add ups. Add-ons. Maybe it will be allow you to add any other extensions. So I will be going through each and every page is showing right over here. And uh, first of all, let's explore the dashboard. So if I scroll down, it's showing out, outstanding invoice. So it will show outstanding invoice here. It shows the total profit here and profit growth. Uh, revenue streams, it will be showing up right here. Uh, actually, from revenue streams, it will uh, show, see where your money coming from. That means it will show up the in, in revenues uh, that is sent by clients or sent by any other companies. It will be showing up right here. Spendings, yeah, actually you can see how much money you are spending on any types of service or how much money you are going to send uh, to any particular person, company or freelancer or uh, whatever you need. And build time. So you can easily, uh, if uh, it will be showing up the statistics of an unb uh, unbuilt time that's uh, tracked by the users or by the clients or so by the user, by yourself, I mean yourself or any other employees. Okay, now let's go ahead to the clients tab. Uh, in that tab, you can set uh, new clients. 
so that you can start communicating sending emails or something like that so first of all let's say start creating new clients um, when you click on new clients so from here you can actually set your clients name first name last name company so for now i'm just going to select uh, new clients and uh, let's put it as the uh, first name selling to the last name show first sorry just any mistakes and then company company will be MET agro industry industries uh, it's just a sample and then i can put a email address right over here so i'm just putting at a demo email at email test.com okay all right email for test.com okay you can put your phone number right over here uh, you can put your, put your mobile number you can put the business here yeah, and not actually your the clients the business number you can uh, then uh, I yeah, put their address like I'm um, just uh, putting it as his yeah, let's pretend he's from USA he's from uh, 23rd uh, um, Street it's just a div email uh, don't take it as a serious uh, let's put it in New York I mean California let's put it Cal uh, New York New York New York City, New York, and then let's put it as one zero four or two. Let's uh, pretend this is the client details. Right over, I have clicked on save. You can actually set it as ready uh, client settings. Uh, let's go ahead and see that also again. I'm going to click on the clients, and uh, there is some options. Uh, let's uh, edit the clients let's go right over there you can send reminder at customer interval actually this reminder is currently turned off but you can send reminder to clients of any particular invoice or any particular payments at due or any pending payments so if you check that mark as on we will get a reminder each and uh, after five days uh, of due date or you can also set a reminder after two days uh, before a due date suppose you want to send him a reminder uh, that uh, he, he had to pay a bill in the next two days so you can set it as a previous days two days ago or two days ago or whatever you like you can just put it right here and then you can hit uh, done but for now i'm going to uh, uncheck mark that one so i'm putting it done and um, actually if, uh, this is a great feature because this will be sending the invoice reminder to the clients each and every uh, week uh, or even every day that you want to say you that you set up with uh, it's automatically they will get the email automatically so you won't need to push him you don't need to send him any mail email message manually so it's in charge late fee so uh, suppose uh, you had already a uh, invoice set up for your client so if uh, uh, the client will get uh, a charge extra on their invoice with the late fee which will be automatically add late fees to the invoice so i'm going to put it as time uh, check marks and there will be fixed uh, fl flat rate of 10 uh, you can set the amount and for now i'm going to charging it as uh, let's put it 15 percent of and invoice value so if the invoice is a hundred dollars so he will be charged 115 dollar just for uh, the due date is over overdue so you if you want you can set up the tax uh, tax charge as well so let's put in a one percent tax uh, just you can say the tax name and tax number but for now i'm going to leave it as empty I'm going to cancel that so when the due date after due date so after I'm going to set it as 15 days after due date so once the client's uh, due date is over and it will be uh, chosen as overdue after 15 days so I'm going to put it as done uh, currency USD so you can set your currency right away yeah, whatever currency you want so you can set your BDT, GBP, um, yeah, Euro, Canada, USD everything is uh, available in that particular um, application so you can just set it as is uh, for now I'm going to set it as USD language is English that's fine I'm going to set it as done and then add invoice attachment so this is the feature that it will send the clients whenever they are sending an email with invoice so they will get a pdf in the attachment uh, already so i'm going to put it as a check mark and clicking on done and then i'm going to saving it as uh, once again 
you have access to the regard do you want to leave and discard your channel yeah okay i'm going to save it as yes um so um i'm already done so this is the client's client details invoices or uh, everything will be shown up here as some if i go to the client's profile it will show something like that outstanding revenue and uh, draft and paid bills so you can actually track everything and you can add your time uh, so that the client got bill right about that so from here you can get, add more contacts of the MIT agro industries that actually that companies if any new or uh, new person uh, in your teams join so you can just click on plus and then you can set the name number email so for now i'm going to put it as uh, in alone Get test email form uh let's put it phone number triple one all right so let's put in this is the number clicking on save and also let's put another person let's put in this is run shafi is the name so let's email is shafi at test email dot com uh, let's put this phone number as uh, for now it's just temporary purpose i'm going to put this like that so i'm going to click on save so we have to see that the amity agro there there is two persons who are communicating with or we will be uh, we got the details off so i'm going to and now i'm going to uh, go to the invoices uh you can send invoices from here but anyway uh, we'll explore it bit so okay so okay, okay let's explore this first so this is the logo you can set a logo right over here you can just click on plus and if you need you can set a logo so i'm not for now i'm going to set is that logo you can set your logo right over here so it will show us up there uh, most most probably if you set a transparent logo this will be look great so this is the details of uh, your company so you can set your company details here company name company number address and everything for now you want to set it in Bangladesh but you can change it to anything in university Australia whatever your country is your company is located of and then bill to this is the client details this is the date of issue due date you can set due date manually you can click on calendar to set uh, after 30 days of issue um, suppose if you say uh, if the due, uh, date issue is fifth uh, then it will be set after 30 days or you can also select the exact date so I'm going to say put it as 15 dates, 15 days of from that time. Invest number, you can set your invest number manually or even uh, it will be uh, once you send number one invest it, and then create another, then it will show as number two, number three, number three, it will grow by grow. And amount due, it's not currently showing up right there, but if you want to add a service like a web design, web design, so that uh, designing, designing company website let's put it as service details so if the rate is um, uh, 12 um, like uh, let's put in five thousand dollar is the rate and then add the text you can add a text of uh, text of 10 percent or whatever your text name so text name will be uh, government tax let's it's just a demo so text number you can just put your text number right here and then click on apply text so it will edit the text right over here so 500 is the uh, amount of web design service and plus the government tax is 500 dollars so it's 10 percent of that amount so here you can see it's showing the government tax so everything will be showing up right over here uh, if you want to attach anything you can do it over here and then once it's done you can just send to you can save or even send to once you click on send it will send instantly or even if you save it it will be sent in the particular date in the particular date as it is a draft sorry yeah, you should click on mark as send or even you send by email so once you send by email you can mark it as send so uh let's pretend i have sent it already and uh, now i'm going to click and mark it as send okay so once you send that, it will be showing up right here, and the client, uh, let's pretend the client uh, got that with the PDF as, uh, as I have already defined that right over here. So let's get back once again. For recurring templates, so it will be using the templates that we have created uh, based on each and every week or each and every time. Uh, okay, one more thing I have missed. So in the invoice that is the payment accept option so you can click on it 
you can set up your payment details stripe or whatever uh, payment you are using showing what are you are using okay for now maybe they are accepting payments from stripe so you can connect your stripe account so that they can uh, click on the invoice uh, payment button and then they will be taking to the payment uh, tab so that they can make the payments using their cards you can the apple pay uh, discover amex uh, google visa mastercard or whatever as a uh, this card is, uh, whatever this card is now let's go back uh, it's a recurring templates as you can see let's say it's a recurring template so if you set it set this uh, um, properly if the client will get uh, once and every week like or if you say you can set it as every week or you can set it as every month so it will be continue uh, sending up in the particular dates let's go back once again to the previous page retain 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 hold on for a second Uh, give me f uh, five minutes. Uh, I have a phone call. Let's pick it up and I'll get back. So uh, let's go ahead to retain. So I'm back in some risk. Go to retain, retain, most probably retain, retain, retain. Set retain terms and billing schedule. After setting up the terms and billing schedule, you will be able to edit the recurring invoice. Okay, this is a recurring invoice and the action. Uh, if, uh, that this actually retainer will um, use uh, the recurring invoice, my invoice, and then uh, it will, you can just say it as I have said earlier, you can set the um, uh, recurring uh, template um, uh, for sending invoices or something else and uh, for that particular action you have to set it up here from here you can see the um with per period and you see per hour per hour per period so i'm going to put it as 10 dollar or 15 dollar per hour and monthly we this the, the retain period will be the monthly so each and every month they will be getting a I send invoice automatically. So I'm, uh, let's invoice date will be in the next month, so November. So each and every November they will be getting up right that. So he'll get the bill for this particular time. So each and every month I'm going to work 10 hours for the client, and they will be getting up a charge of $15 per hour. So it will be $100 uh, for each month, and you can add tax. But for now I'm gonna, I'm not adding a tax. And then once you are done, and you can just save it, save it, continue it. This is the email template. You can actually edit that, so you will get email like this. I'm gonna save it, so it's saving done. Uh, okay, so um, let's go back to invoice. Uh, we'll figure out the clients later on. So invoice, you can actually create invoice and manually from here. What you can try the templates. So this is the, uh, the default templates. You can edit up. Or uh, yeah, I have already showed the invest uh, last in the last page, so let's cancel it and let's see try it try templates. So there is some templates or designs you can just click on send next and you can show wow well, that's that's so cool looks like school. So you can set your image right over here. So for now I'm gonna set it at this page books. Uh, so I'm gonna drag it. Wow 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 wow. Believe it me or not, it's looking so professional. You can set up your information right here. You can add clients. You can add a client. So for now, I'm going to get the client right over here. If, if I had more clients added in your account, you can just click on it and you can change your clients. So you can add your description, work description here. For now, I'm going to set it as this. You can actually change it. You can change the color of the templates. So blue, it looks nice. I'm going to click on save. So once I click on save, uh, it will be saved automatically. And then you can send to the clients as attached with a pdf or not you can actually manage it from the invest page you can manually create the invoices so i'm simply going to save it for now as i'm not sending because the email is not right uh, that's actually the demo retainer i have already explored that so we'll go to the payments tab so 
okay uh, payment step this is the tab actually add a new payments uh, okay if you click on it so you can manually add a payment suppose uh, some people or any other people send me an invoice of payment payment invoice uh, to me actually complete the payments to me manually so let's put it as uh, like the invoice is john his name is john let's present of this uh, he sent a payment of cards uh, he pay sent payment with uh, cash or bank transfer and he sent an amount of 75000 usd and you can set it in most so the note is uh, let's pretend he sent it for a digital marketing marketing purpose marketing purpose and then you can click on hit save so oh, sorry sorry type an in add an invoice so it will be invoice name digital marketing so john digital john digital marketing invoice let's put it as like this or oh, sorry sorry uh, it will be actually okay all right all right i got it so this will not be any manual payment so this will be actually the invoice number so for now you can click on this and you can just set it up and that will be the cash so if, if first of all you have to create an invoice once you uh, that uh, once you edit that then you have to click uh, you can actually change the invoice details from here so let's go back once again sorry i missed it so just first of all you have put the invoice number so i'm going to set the invoice number so this is the invoice number one and um, this is the invoice date let's put in the last date uh, let's pretend we send it as bank transfer so this is the amounts and then this is the web developments so please don't mind because i'm also new in the sites and i'm exploring with you guys so now let's click on it. Uh, check my right check marks so once you once you do that i think the invoice will be marked as paid uh, we'll be check that out as well right so yeah so it's been paid so if we go to the invoice tab and let's open up that one right over so if invoice is open up let's see uh, if it shows as paid or not i think most probably it will be showing as paid let's wait a bit to be loaded yeah that's a uh, paid in full so that full amount has been paid uh, it's showing up right over the hair let's close it up and let's explore once again so check out link payments so if we get any payments from stripe it will be showing up right here or here i think and other income you can actually add them manually so like selling up amazon product if you have to sell amazon product you can click on it you can set the date of today so like say so let's set it up as today i got a payment of like uh, payment of 23,000 total amounts and let's uh, select the category let's pretend it's the online sale let's uh, say let's set it as uh, sorry i think there is an issue check out payments okay let's pretend is as a debit card or check payments as sent to the client so this one send me that and i want the description you can set it as um gift card or something like that let's put as gift card let's print up send gift card using amazon products uh, amazon websites amazon websites of 230 users 100 us dollar 200 2030 300 us dollar let's click on click check marks and it will be showing up here so this is actually other income so it will be showing up in the dashboard as uh, my income source or something like that so let's uh, go to the expenses uh, let's pretend we have uh, hired a freelancer and uh, we actually give him an expense so add, let's add a new expense let's pretend for web development we hired a particular freelancer so we can actually set the image from um, from here uh, let's pretend uh, this is the image uh, for justice purpose you can set the category it will be like uh, web web development as the category or sorry let's put it as freelancer other expenses so add a merchant you can add merchants as uh, like a client freelancer name or something like that so let's uh, say let's 
thing like we paid by Upwork. So it's a web development purpose development of MET. You can add text for now. I'm not going to add any text. So the amount we have paid is like uh, one thousand dollar and assign to the project client to project. Uh, for now, I'm gonna set it as MET because it's the work of MET Agro Industries. Uh, Mark has built as so you can explain. Uh, so I'm gonna I have paid the painting already. So let's pretend uh, as Mark has built already. Image and image and markup. So uh, let's pretend uh, I'm gonna save it as done. Okay, so I have a uh, costings of one thousand dollar. I have paid by Upwork to a particular freelancer for the work of MIT Industries website development. So if unpaid, uh, let's mark it as uh, paid. Let's see, see if there is any other options to mark it as paid. Um, all right, a mark of no, no, not that one. Let's go back once again. I think there might be an option to mark it as paid. Four is four is four is four. So let's put the data starts and see what it happens because it's four already right over here. So it's showing unpaid. Let's see if there is another option. Okay, mark and bill as payment. No, not that one. Not bill as, as bill payment. No, not not as bill payments. So change client to project, change taxes and type design. Okay, let's keep it as light uh, like this. Let's go to the vendor and explore the next things. So from here you can actually add your vendors information. You can add start your vendors, adding up right there, outstanding amounts. You can see and I have a lot of vendors. You can actually import it manually from import now tab. Nice options. <clears throat> and uh, one more thing one more thing is estimated now let's go to the estimate tab estimated tab is use estimated and proposal for strongest client relationship put everything clients care about in document for a first approval easy conversion into invoice and fast payment so okay all right all right, all right, all right. I got it. So if uh, you do start a new project or new client, so you can actually put everything out. It will be charging him for it. Will, it is just an estimate costing and estimated services you will be providing. So watch each and everything, each and every policy, each and every stages. It will be showing up in the step estimated. Let's click on estimate and see what actually it shows up in the front. So it's totally like an invoice. So you can set your logo right over here. Uh, your company logo you can set here you can add your client here and then you can set estimates for a new project so if you, are, if you want to set a new project you can set up a detail and then um, like um, you can actually change the quantity you can add quantity you can exchange like four websites so it's for showing up right here or three let's delete one and one more thing uh, you can actually yeah, you can actually send it to the client so that he got an estimate of how much he will be charged after the work is finished. So how much he will get the invoice, how much payment he had to make. So he will get a basic idea before he start the work. Now let's go to the time tracking. Uh, time tracking is uh, your personal tool so that you can actually start your time. So suppose uh, man for manual entry, you can just do it from here. Or if you want to add, so let's pretend I'm going to add a manual entry for MIT Agro Industries. The service will be web development, and our say let's pretend you have it for 15 hours and 20 uh, sorry 25 minutes, and uh, you have it will be of 12 10 of sorry let's put it as yesterday and not nothing. Required. Let's. You can actually add it to retainer, or you can add it to billable. So I'm going to see it as billable. So it will be showing up right over here. It starts. It's still unbuilt. So client will be charged for this for sure, but it's not built yet. 
Like, or even one more thing you can start time start timer so once you click on start timer and then click on service and then working on you can put it as like a header mod header creating and uh, it will be showing up in the invoice let's suppose it's a time is going on and then you can open up a new tab you can start your working in uh, and once your work is done let's pretend your working your work is done uh, let's Thing like I have added one hour okay let's pretend I have uh, worked one hour and then um, I have after one hour I get back to that place again and then click on done so once I click on done it will be showing up uh, in, uh, right in the tab I've just a uh, user timer so you can use the timer so that you can track your time you can track your progress report right over here and then projects you can actually add the projects like i have already showed up that the web development is the project so you can add any other projects uh, and then you can add clients over there so let's click on add new projects it will be hourly project or it will be flat rate so i'm going to set it as um a flat rate projects for now you can add any anything else that you like uh, let's pretend i uh, can empty please make clients uh, so I can invite any other team member if I need right over here, but for now I'm going to I'm going to one I'm, I'm the one only, and I'm only working on this project. So this will be a project name that is web development of MET You can actually description here, but let's finish it is yesterday. I've already done that. Let's pretend uh, the plot rate is 550 USD. Let's uh, total works hour is 10. I mean, let's pretend it's 120 hours. You can add your services, web developments, or whatever you have added, or whatever you want to add. And then click on save. And from there, you can actually change the options that uh, are required or based on your works preferences. So I'm going to click on save. So it will be added in the project step so that I can see how much earnings I got that from the project, how much earnings, what is the client's name, what clients is responsible for this particular project, what clients will be made the payments, all time tracks, you can have time tracking time, you can actually track time based under the project um, or even you can send invoice under this project, estimated expenses, service and report, you can actually add everything from this step. And from my team, you can actually give access to it and invite the team members and so that they get access to your company, to your um, company as in uh, particular uh, designations like um, manager or something like that. Let's pretend I can, if I want to add admin, I can do that manager, employee, contractor, accountant, whatever you need, you can add. And if for accountant, it looks like free. So you can give him the permission to access your company to a particular stage so that is it i think uh, you guys all are okay now let's go back to the dashboard i can see it. i've completed all the check marks let's close it up for now you can see your outstanding invoices here as i have got already uh, uh, marked the, my, the invoices as paid so it's, there is no outstanding right now you can profit grow you can see up right over here um spending is thousand dollar that i've showed earlier uh, and uh, most probably this will be showing up the price in the product profit tab later on so that's it that is it uh, let's reload once again and let's end the video so uh, as you can see this is the fresh book it looks very easy there is no complexity in it it's uh, totally free up if uh, user friendly user can see anything uh, from his dashboard okay so it's coming up right over here is total profit 603,000 says profit total revenue is 7,300 and uh, spend is 1,000 so total uh, total profit is 6,300 not bad it's showing up in the dashboard in the dashboard you can basically see everything of the whole uh, summary in just, just one page is just um, uh, just a look so that's it and uh, if i go to the adobe tab this is the last thing you can add facebook team member you can facebook select plans so actually this is the advanced so that you can if we upgrade to that plan you will get access to some integrations like stripe jpr importer and Shopify, JPR, Mac, and Automotion. You can link with up Gmail or uh, Dropbox or whatever you intuition you want. You can see more intuition here. But for now, for that you will need to upgrade your plan.
so that's it uh, that's all about my facebook uh, review so i hope you guys uh, like it and uh, if you guys really enjoyed this video if you, if you feel like uh, you should give it a try make sure to um you should make sure to hit uh, the he make sure to click on the call um, just uh, link in the description uh, given in the description and also make sure to uh, like and share this video with your friends and eat with your business partners so that they guys can also know about this uh, so that's it uh, um, so till the next video stay safe and make sure to grow your business with Facebook. thank you so much for watching till the next